What up channel, it's 4Play and this is just another commentary. Today's topic is why am I so motivated, also a little bit of a channel update. But the why am I so motivated is going to be the traditional topic for this one. So in this, you're going to notice that the gameplay is stand, stand off hardpoint again and I'm all by myself in a pub. I went into a game and I kind of wanted to see if I could win a game by myself, um, which I go into pubs all, by, all the time by myself just to warm up and stuff. And currently I think I have like a 5 win loss on Black Ops or whatever. And basically in this gameplay you're going to notice I chose this because it's kind of like a motivational commentary as well as mixed with some gameplay in which we come back and win I think by 1 point 218 to 217 I think I go 60 and 8 in this or close to that and yeah hope you guys enjoy but anyway on to the topic why am I so motivated somebody asked me this and I they were like hey can you do a commentary on why you're so motivated or how to stay motivated and I, I didn't know what to say really and I, I don't do commentary every time someone asks me to do one on stuff because I'd be talking about some crazy stuff but I do commentaries whenever I think that it's beneficial or it could help people because I do really feel that YouTube is a good creative outlet for me and I love to just get on here and talk now something I didn't used to be good at and something I didn't even like to do I hated YouTube um, and the the original reason is because I got into YouTube uh, for money like I, I was like oh, all these people are making so much money on YouTube and dude you gotta you got yeah I don't make a lot of money on YouTube but um, I that's why I originally got into it and then now it turned into a creative like process of explaining like my gameplay and then it turned into me doing these edits where like I get to show you guys how creative I can be with editors and then also like showcasing my gameplay like wow I'm better than your average person and now it turned into like you guys are my my gang like <laughs> my foreplay gang and we have a pretty good connection I like to say with my YouTube um, subscribers so it kind of turned into that with me and I am going to answer this. Why am I so motivated? And first and foremost, it's because this, this thing that we're in right now, life, is so crazy. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I've talked about it before. There's some crazy stuff going on in this world. And I, I want to be a difference in some aspect of it. And I think that a lot of people become complacent with what they do, you know? And I don't know if you've heard me use that word before, um, being complacent with things. And being complacent with things is something I never want to do. And that means, for those of you asking, basically, like, you you become cool with, with how your life is and what you're doing. You know, like, when I was overweight um, and I needed to lose weight, I, if I would have became cool with that and I was complacent, then I would have been stuck in that forever. And that's not who I was. Or when I took a break from, um, like, uh, like, gaming in general and I didn't play competitive uh, for Black Ops, MW3, I came back at the end. And... When I took that break, I wanted to I wanted to show people that um, that I could come back and play, you know. So I wasn't complacent in that. And then also just being motivated in life in general, like I'm just motivated, you know. Like I'm surrounded, like I'll see people around me that I don't know are just genuine good people. That guy should have died, by the way. If you saw me start to turn around, I thought he was gonna die, and that guy messed up the gameplay. God, damn guy. But, um, yeah, so I'm just motivated, and I'm motivated for YouTube because I feel like, and I don't know if you guys can agree with this, and I'm not trying to ask for sympathy or anything, but I feel YouTube is one of the hardest things to get in because you could have, um, originally, I was pissed because I was like, wow, I'm so much better than all these commentators. I shouldn't need to talk on my videos. I should just be able to put a video up, and people should be like, wow, this guy's really good. And it doesn't work like that. you got to have a personality, and I didn't understand that until later. And now, even though like you guys understand my personality, and you know who, who I am and what I'm about, it's still hard to get your videos out there to people, you know? And it, it's just one of those things where I feel like I'll never be a big YouTuber and just because I feel that way now I'm thinking to myself okay now okay, like let's prove my I want to prove myself wrong that maybe I will be a big YouTuber and maybe like when that day happens I can say it's been a long road you know because I don't really get a lot of shout outs from people my own teammates don't really retweet a lot of my videos and you guys my, my, my supporters retweet a lot of my stuff or you guys push my videos out there so that's awesome and I am growing actually I know there's new people subscribed to my channel Channel and I know there's new people that's on here that are just trying to like learn competitive stuff and learn what it is and that's what you got to think about like when when you're talking about motivation for your life and yourself and who you're surrounded with um, the way I look at it is 
I, I'm doing this YouTube thing, and I have people that are subscribed to me for so many different reasons. Some people want to learn about competitive, so maybe doing my quick competitive clip breakdowns and stuff like that, and just talk about events and what's going on, people will know what it is. Other people are are like following and subscribe to me because they like my personality. A lot of people tell me they don't even watch the video or like the gameplay. They just listen to what I'm talking about, like whether they're while they're doing homework and stuff like that. So you got those people, and then you got the people that um that just like to keep up with foreplay or or Skylar, you know, like me. That they, they like to keep up with me and see what I'm doing in life and and all that, you know. And I think when when you put all these different people together. And you have new subscribers that have no clue what you're about, no inkling of competitive. They just came across your videos because they typed in Black Ops 2. And that's why I think the internet is so powerful because you can put this message to your subscribers out almost. Hey, you can say anything you want. You know, that's why some YouTubers get in trouble because they're doing um, controversial videos. You know, like I've seen people do videos on stuff and then get hated on by the com community and stuff. And that, that's something I don't think I'll ever do. Like, I don't think I'll talk on like how there's that school shooting. I don't think it was fair for me to talk on that because I saw some other pros doing it, like a video game is to make people psycho. I think that's like an opinionated topic, and I'm, I might do stuff on it eventually, but I don't really think I will. Uh, I'm going to do more so stuff that are geared towards helping people better and trying to be positive. I'm always positive. That's another thing. Have you guys seen, like, lately? Well, maybe not lately, but there's so many people, and I don't mean, like, trolls or anything, but just so many people are negative, like, about everything. Like, when score streaks first came in, they were like, Oh my God, I hate score streaks. And don't get me wrong, I was against score streaks too. Um, I was against it at first, but I never did like hate. Like I, I wasn't opposed to change because uh, some one of my friends actually said adapt or die. And when he said that, I realized you know like maybe we should adapt. And now score streaks and competitive really isn't that bad. And I was wrong, you know. And I stuck up so hard for not having score streaks and competitive gaming because of the fact that. It's what we built ourselves around, and I felt like we were changing for views. And to be honest, it, whether it, we play um, score streaks or w we play without them, I know a lot of you guys hate score streaks, um, and some of you guys like them. I really don't care. I'm just enjoying playing the game, and I'm enjoying what I'm doing with life and just in general. And I think that's another thing, you know. Um, as far as being motivated towards competitive gaming, I just I want to be the best again. There was a point in my time where I felt untouchable. Um, I felt that it was easy to win games and I felt like YouTube and all that stuff was the hard part but winning tournaments was the easy part and I want to get that back and I don't think I'm far away from it I just got to find um, I just got to get going again you know like I'm doing competitive now I think I'm playing really well and it's just about getting getting a team that's solid and obviously I'm still on MV and we're doing our thing what not really sure on rosters and stuff like that yeah obviously we got a good squad but we yeah we'll talk about that later in another commentary but anyway back to being so motivated in life and stuff and I hope to shed and pass that down to some of you guys like if you guys and I want to say this if I did this New Year's resolution video um, the other day and I got some really good responses from that but if you guys have anything that you need help with and you're not motivated for or whatever and you really want to get going you just can't then just look at it for, all right look at it like this if you don't start it then what like what are you gonna do you know like if if you start it what's the worst that's gonna happen you're gonna fail and through failing you're gonna learn about your life and you're gonna learn about things could be harder than what it is and a lot of you guys I know what you guys want is to be competitive gamers and I know you guys want to be pros and you want to be just like your favorite pros whether I'm your favorite pro or other people is you want to be just like that and that's not that far of a goal it's just something you're gonna have to work for and you need to realize that I've said this so many times that you are going to fail and you are going to be looked at as just another gamer. You're no different than someone else. And a lot, in fact, one of my videos got this hateful comment. Like uh, some guy commented, it was like, oh, you contradict yourself a lot. And that's because I speak real. Like um, I'll contradict myself. And I, I think I said something like in one of my videos, I said, you know, respect pros because they earned it and they are better than you. And that was a general statement. In a video prior, I said you're not, or pros aren't any better than you. And I meant their opinion doesn't mean more than yours as a person. Like just because they're pro doesn't mean that their opinions mean more. And then I also said that some amateur players are better than pros, and I feel that. I feel that there is so much talent out there. But until that amateur proves it, 
right now that pro is better than him, whether it be on paper or whether it be just there. I hope that you guys kind of get what I'm saying out of that. Some kid, I don't remember who it is, and he's like, oh, you just block people whenever you're wrong. And no, man, I can be wrong 24-7. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have... I think that's part of life. Like, you, you, you are wrong. You know what I mean? That's, like, how you grow as a person because you understand that you can be wrong. And to be honest, being wrong is awesome because that means I'm learning something I didn't know prior. And if you felt that I contradicted myself in that video, then I apologize. But I'm sure most of you guys knew what was up. I left a pretty good descriptive comment on one of them. Um, and I think it was the Why Are Pros Assholes videos or video that I did. So either way, I hope that you guys enjoyed this commentary. This is my Why Am I So Motivated. It's so easy to get on here and talk. So I'm sorry if I ramble. As always, you guys are the best. This is Foreplay from Team Envious and the Foreplay Gang. I'm out. Peace. What up, gang? I hope that you guys like that comeback on standoff hard point. You guys get to see us come back 218 to 217. Also, I hope you like the commentary, why am I so motivated? Random question from someone and I wanted to answer it. Make sure that you guys submit your questions for the questions from me series that I'm starting. Any questions you have that you need help with gaming related, please let me know. As always, video on the top left, happy new year. Video on the top right, 4Play Story Part 1. You guys are the best. I'm out.